step into the exciting world of the Time Tunnel, a classic TV series from 1966 that takes you on thrilling time travel adventures. The show follows two scientists trapped in a mysterious time traveling device. But here's the thing, there are plenty of interesting, surprising, and even emotional facts about the series that you might not know. So keep your eyes open for some surprising revelations as we explore its secrets. Now, let me ask you this, do you have a special memory associated with this TV series? Or has it influenced your life in a unique way? Share your personal stories with us in the comments below. As we uncover the layers of the time tunnel, get ready for a roller coaster of emotions and surprises. Your stories might just add another dimension to the memories linked to this timeless classic. So, what's your most memorable experience related to this series? Drop your stories in the comments below and let's keep the conversation going. Stay tuned for more insights into the time tunnel where every episode is a journey through time. The TV show, The Time Tunnel, only lasted for one season but has become a cult classic. Produced by Irwin Allen in the 1960s, it's known for its high production costs. The story follows two scientists who get stuck in time traveling through different historical events. They have to make sure they don't change history while trying to get back to their own time. The studio set for the show was impressive, making the adventures visually stunning. Each episode shows the main characters, Tony and Douglas, facing new challenges in places like the Titanic, Nazi Germany, and even other planets. Even though the show was successful, it didn't get a second season. Some say it's because they ran out of old film to use, especially noticeable in the final episodes where the story shifted to encounters with aliens. Reviewers liked the show's idea, enjoying how it took them to different historical times while keeping things exciting. Even kids, like a 10-year-old reviewer mentioned, found it fun because of the mix of time travel and history. In short, the time tunnel shows Irwin Allen's vision and why 1960s science fiction TV still interests people. Its mix of adventure, history, and fiction keeps audiences entertained, even though it was only on TV for a short time. The Time Tunnel, a TV series from 1966, had a single season before cancellation, leaving Doug and Tony stranded without return. Robert Colbert revealed plans for future seasons where they would use the Time Tunnel weekly to fix historical wrongs. In May 2008, the series was still referenced in the Scooter Store commercials. The Time Tunnel is remembered for its brief but impactful run, leaving fans to wonder about the fate of its protagonists. Despite its short tenure, the series maintains a lasting presence in popular culture. The Time Tunnel, a TV series from the late 1960s, aired in 1966 and 1967, but depicted 1968 as the present for Project TikTok. It showcased different time periods, including 1883 and 1978, for specific episodes like Crack of Doom and One Way to the Moon, respectively. Sadly, the lead actor passed away due to lung cancer at the Rehabilitation Center of Beverly Hills in Beverly Grove, L.A. His standout performance in Tender Mercies earned him the 14th spot on Premier Magazine's list of 100 greatest performances of all time in 26. He is remembered for his contributions to the show. The actor's notable work and impact continue to be recognized even posthumously. The show was... In 1966, the time tunnel hit the screens, captivating audiences with its time-traveling escapades. The show follows two scientists stuck in different historical periods. Despite its short stint, it garnered a loyal fanbase. James Darren led the cast, earning acclaim for his role as a time-traveling scientist. Alongside him, Robert Colbert played a significant part. The series boasted guest appearances from actors like Michael Rennie, famous for roles in Mary, Mary, and Apocalypse Now. Rennie, known for his talent on stage and screen, battled health issues, but remained committed to his craft. Upon Rennie's passing, colleagues and fans mourned his loss. Prominent figures like Norman Lear and Larry Hagman paid their respects at his funeral. In summary, the time tunnel holds a special place in TV history cherished by fans worldwide. It's remembered fondly for its adventures through time. The actor linked with the Time Tunnel, part of the John Wayne Stock Company, played supporting roles in several of John Wayne's movies like The Sea Chase, The Sons of Katie Elder, True Grit, and Big Jake. Apart from his work with Wayne, he also appeared in Irwin Allen's disaster flicks, The Poseidon Adventure, and The Towering Inferno. Notably, he was a constant presence in all four of Irwin Allen's sci-fi TV series Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, Lost in Space, The Time Tunnel, and Land of the Giants. 
His involvement in these series showcased his versatility within the sci-fi genre. In terms of personal life, he married his childhood sweetheart, Gloria Terlitsky, and they had a son named Jim Mort. Following their separation, he tied the knot with Evie Norlund, who held the title of Miss Denmark in 1958, and they had two sons together, Christian and Anthony. Summing up, the actor's career spanned across John Wayne films, Irwin Allen's disaster movies, and all four of Allen's sci-fi TV shows. His personal life included marriages to Gloria Terlitsky and Evie Norland, with whom he had three children. In the late 1960s, there was a TV show called The Time Tunnel. It's got some interesting stories behind it. Martin Sheen was supposed to play a role in another movie, but he couldn't because he was busy with The West Wing. So, someone from The Time Tunnel ended up taking his place. The Time Tunnel was a really expensive TV show to make. They used a lot of money to build big sets at 20th Century Fox. Before the time tunnel, there was a similar story in an episode of another show called 12 O'Clock High. Some actors from the time tunnel were in that episode too. So the time tunnel not only cost a lot to make, but also had its actors working on other things at the same time. It shows how connected the entertainment industry was back then. The Time Tunnel, a TV series from 1966, featured an actor who played Lieutenant Lou Escobar in the 1974 film Chinatown alongside Jack Nicholson. He later reprised his role in the 1990 sequel, The Two Jakes, also directed and starring Nicholson. Props from the Time Tunnel were utilized in other popular shows like Lost in Space, Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, Land of the Giants, and Batman. Notably, several individuals who worked on the film The Conqueror in 1956, including actors John Wayne, Susan Hayward, Agnes Moorhead, and Pedro Armendariz, passed away from cancer. Armandares was the first to be diagnosed and chose suicide over facing the illness. The Time Tunnel, a TV series from 1966, featured actor Kevin O'Connor, known for his roles in two Sidney Poitier films, The Defiant Ones and For Love of Ivy. He later starred in the 1988 series In the Heat of the Night, based on the 1967 Poitier film. One notable thing about the show was how each episode ended with a cliffhanger, leaving viewers eager for the next part. Interestingly, the final episode ended in a way that connected back to the beginning, giving the whole series a unique structure. Kevin O'Connor, famous for playing Klaus, the jealous elephant trainer in The Greatest Show on Earth, is remembered for his role in The Time Tunnel. In summary, The Time Tunnel, known for its suspenseful endings and Kevin O'Connor's performance, is a standout show in television history. The TV series The Time Tunnel aired in 1966, John Zermba, who was previously involved with the Kaiman, the college newspaper at the University of Montana, played a significant role in the show. In 1949, he quit in protest after campus authorities confiscated and destroyed an issue featuring a cartoon depicting the Montana Board of Education unfavorably. Before his TV career, Zermba performed comedy in nightclubs in the late 1920s and appeared on Broadway in 1930. He was part of the Mercury Theater from 1937 until he served in the military in 1945. Recognized for his distinctive appearance, he often played tough or villainous roles in TV shows of the 1960s and 1970s. He also appeared in an episode of The Twilight Zone called No Time Like the Past, which shares a time travel theme with the time tunnel. This connection suggests Zermba's later involvement in the series. Overall, Zermba's diverse background and experience added depth to the time tunnel with his portrayal of characters enhancing the show. His earlier role in The Twilight Zone hinted at his connection to time travel themes, setting the stage for his involvement in the series.